Hi, this is Oliver from T-Sport Line. Today we're going to install this MSX dash in this Model 3 behind us. This works on the Model 3 and the Model Y. Um, so inside the box, you're going to be getting the passenger side of the dash, the two side trim pieces. These are for the Model 3 only. These, this is the continuation of the texture of the dash, comes through into the doors onto your Model 3. These are just stick onto the door, so this is that's real simple. Underneath, you've got this, this this envelope here, and you'll have a trim tool and a small Allen wrench. Then, if we go a little further, we've got the um, driver's side of the dash with the with the new display in it, which will come in the live soon. Then we've got the cabling. Now this cabling, it will run from the aftermarket cluster all the way through the dash, down through into the center console where the cigarette lighter is, but we'll get to that shortly. Also in here, you've got new end caps for the, um, for the new dashboard. And these click onto the ends, but again, we'll get to the, that at the end. And you've also got uh, some zip ties and some screws. So, Let's move this stuff out of the way and assemble this dash. So here we go, let's start off set bench assembling this dashboard before we go inside the car. So we'll start by opening up the, uh, the driver's side piece. And we'll do the passenger side. Now when I install it, I find it easier to turn both of them over. Some space. Turn both of them over and join them together in the middle to start with. You can join them together. You've got these two locator lugs here and these four screw holes, which we're gonna put some screws in in a second. So give it a slight tilt and click it together like this. And because you've got it upside down, they'll stay together. Then we get the screws that we got out the back of the packet earlier on. You've got more than four because... So there, once we've got the four screws in, you won't need any more of these screws. We give you some extra just in case you lose them. Um, we're gonna take this cable, it's gonna go all the way through the dash. So the cable, in my head, it comes in two pieces. So undo the, zip, undo the twist ties on the side. So you've got the main part of the cable, which is right here, which has the USB on it, okay? So what you want to do is where the cable comes to this second bunch here, this is going to go into your center console. So this is the jumper for the cigarette lighter. If you disconnect this right here by holding the two sides, pull it apart, save this part for later. We're going to go ahead and we're going to drop the main part of the cable onto this dashboard right now. So first of all, you obviously find the plug for the back of the screen. The, cable, the, the plug will only go in one way and all the other plugs don't fit. So this is your only plug. 
Make sure it goes in and clicks like that. Then once it goes in, you can follow it round and there's a, a groove right here. Drop it across this groove and then this cable is going to go across the front of the dash like this. And it's going to come out the other side and down the part of the dash. But before we, before we thread this whole thing up, we're going to go inside the car right now and we're going to um, show you how to do the cigarette lighter side. So now we're inside, we're going to take this center console out. Now it seems pretty crazy and pretty daunting for some people, but it's actually not that bad at all. So first things first, lift up your center console here. Then you've got this leather trim down the side and this other leather trim. This is one whole piece. This is one horseshoe piece. So what I normally do is I start from the back and I get my fingers underneath. Don't use the tool provided yet because it's a metal tool and you will mar the plastic. So you go in with your fingers because your fingers are softer than plastic. And you, you work your way down the side of the car, pop in. These, you've got these pops all the way down the side. And then you do the same thing on this side. Then once you've got it all the way back to where this chrome trim finishes, readjust yourself back down to a sitting position, grab the front, both hands underneath like this, and pull upwards. Then the whole piece comes up. Now, because you've got your uh, charger pad here for your phones, you're going to have a cable behind here. Now, I prefer to leave it connected, uh, so I just move this whole section off to one side. Like this. Now, our next step is you've got to remove the chrome trim that runs all the way around, including this white section at the front. Now, to do this, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven torques on this side and seven on my side. So I'm going to do this backwards so you can see easier. So you remove this one. Now, I just normally drop them in the center console so I don't lose them. Now don't worry about it if you leave a brass clip in here from the other piece. You can pry this out later on with the trim tool that we provided you and then drop it back onto that leather horseshoe piece that we just took off. Get these ones from this side. Now, if I didn't say this before, this is um, all of these Torx around the center console, they're all what we call Torx 20s. I prefer to use a hand driver because if you use an impact driver or an electronic drill or something, you have the, the chance that you go in too quick and you strip the thread on the back end and then you end up with rattles and stuff in your center console. I was using one of these. Uh, you can use the, the Allen wrench thing provided. I just find this a lot quicker. This is just a normal screwdriver. So once you've removed all 14 screws, this chrome trim just pops up real quick, real easy. It just pops off the side like this. You'd like to pull it apart. And then when you get to the front, it pops up. I then place this in the back seat for later. You've got to get under here because your cigarette lighter is in the center, okay, behind this. So the cables obviously come this way. So what I do is I'll get back in the car again and I'll pull, I'll pull up from the 
just just the just the the the, the gray colored top not the cup holders just the gray colored top you can slide this back as well gives you a little bit extra just pay attention around here because this is obviously a weak point once you have this up you could be able to see the cigarette lighter right here now what we're going to do is we're going to and do the twist tie on this again. Okay, now you've got this gray section, one with the foam on and one without the foam on. Okay, this is obviously gonna go onto the car side and this is gonna go into the cigarette lighter. So it's just like a pass through, like a T harness. Okay, now to release the, release the harness that's in here, use the same screwdriver or the same thing that you took out all the Torx 20s with. You push down on the gray thing, slide that thing out. You line up the two pieces, make sure it clicks. Then the same with this side. Line it up, click. This could just tuck back in here, there'll be no heat in here at all. So now we've switched sides of the car, so now I'm on the passenger side. So to send the, the power from the cigarette lighter down to where we're gonna need it, which is down in this passenger kick panel down here, we're gonna to have to go through, there's a hole at the back where all the factory cables come through. So the factory cigarette lighter, the lighter, the key recognition thing, all go through this single hole in the middle. So what we have to do is, there's a, a carpeted panel like this on the passenger side. We're gonna remove this carpeted panel, okay? And then we're gonna, what, what we call in the trade, fish it through the hole and send it down and it's gonna come out on the passenger side center console. So to take this center console trim piece off, this carpeted piece here, you're gonna get your handy trim tool that we supply in the box. You're gonna put it underneath and just pull it forward towards yourself. You see how it pops. You have the same pops that go all the way across. It's hard to see because it's black on black, but all of this will come out. So you, again, go back to your hands. Always go back to your hands and just pop this whole piece off. Okay, and that will reveal the internals of the center console for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send, I, I personally use a plastic plastic tool like a long zip tie or something like that. And I will send it in through the hole that we set up here and it will come out right around about here. Okay, so let's do that for you right now. So here's my zip tie. I'm gonna send it in through the top hole. and it comes out exactly where we said. So you're gonna come out right here. You grab the end, and now you've successfully fished through the sense console. So now what you wanna do is, you take the end of the cable that we wanna put in, and you tape up to the, to the uh, zip tie that we've just sent through the sense console. Try and put a little bit of pressure on because otherwise, you, last thing you want to do is after you've fished it through, the cable come off your zip tie and then you've got to do it all over again. So once you get it on like this, you go slowly through. Now you might feel a little bit of resistance every now and again, but just wiggle it around a little bit and you see we've already got the cable through. Your next big challenge is to get this um, fuse holder through so you keep on going and just keep on once you get it down here you might find a little resistance like this here just wiggle it around a little bit and it will you should be able to get it to come through pull the extra through and then reseat the uh, the cup holder trim on the top okay so now just undo what you did with the zip tie right here so just undo the tape. And the reason why we use plastic, if you use a metal coat hanger or something like that, when you send it through the center, if you take that metal coat hanger and it goes into the back of a plug, that metal coat hanger might become live. And you don't want that. That's why we always use plastic. Okay, now you route this cable, just tuck it down behind the carpet down like this. Okay, and then it's gonna come all the way up around the top and it's gonna come behind this trim panel. So we should now start by taking this trim, this side trim panel off right here. Okay, to do this, you remove this top piece here. So you can take this trim piece again, drop it in the top, 
pop the top out like this, slide it up. And then behind here, you've got a clip. So take your trim, trim tool again and pop this piece out. So you just take the center out, not the back, the center and then the back will follow. Drop that back down in the center, lift this rubber sill off like this, and then start from the back right here. So if you pop with your fingers again, you see it, feel it pop up. Sometimes this white trim piece wants to come with it, as you saw there, just separate it off, lift out the tr sill trim. Okay. Now what I do is, because I hate sitting on this thing, I drop this thing back on, because that's pretty, it's not sharp, but it's uncomfortable. Okay. So now what you're looking for, for this, which is a, an AMD car, is this blue, blue plug right here. Now, the harness that we're gonna send from the dashboard is gonna come all the way down around the side and into this plug here. And we're also gonna use the, the cable that we sent from the, plug, from the center console. So let's get on to doing the top part of the dash and let's finish this thing out. So to remove the dash, you can do it a couple of different ways. The way that I like to do it, I pull this side panel off first. And to do that, I go in from behind and just on the lip, you just pop it and you, you feel it and pop up. And then if you wanna get your finger in, like I like to do, just pop this thing out. Okay, and you do the same thing on the other side. I'll go do that real quick right now. Now to, lift, now to lift the dash piece up, this whole dash piece here, this one's actually got a carbon overlay on, but that doesn't matter to us. So we're gonna lift this dash piece up. Now, if you've got an earlier Model 3 or a Model Y that you're putting this on, these side pieces here will come out separately. And to take those out separately, you can get your trim tool in and slide it up underneath and pop them forward and these pieces will pop out. Fortunately for me, this one's a newer one, so I don't have that problem. So to get this dashboard out now, you can do it, like I said, one of two ways. You can um, just push up on it and the whole thing pops off like this. You could drop the glove box, give yourself a little bit more leverage. You could go on the driver's side behind the thing. I personally just like to, to go at it from this side and then this whole piece will come up and it'll come off. So now let's compare these to the original dash and the, the new one. So on the older dashboards, you're gonna have these, these Velcro pieces here and you're gonna to need to change them out for, let's open this thing up for you, for these clips. Now these clips look like the front clips. So all you need to do is unscrew the screws, two on each Velcro piece and there's one, two, three, six. There's six pieces, so you put these clips instead of these and you've got six of them so you just change all six of them and then that will click into the dash correctly fortunately enough for me again i've already got the velcro because this is a newer car so i get the velcro on this one so for the next piece we're going to take the new part of the dash the new control module obviously the wiring harness and everything to the car and then we're going to install this run the cable around we're going to show you where to put the uh, usb for easy installation uh an easy update sorry and then we're going to connect up the AMD plug and we're going to connect to the power to the cigarette lighter that we've already sent through. Okay. So before you put this dashboard and click it down onto the car. You can run the you can run the USB a couple of different ways. Um, I personally like to drop the glove box a little bit and send it from behind. Um, some people like to run it around the outside, around here, uh, or down the front. Either way is okay. If you run it around the back, you're not going to have it trapped. If you put it around this side, if you put this piece on. This, this panel's got a, a tendency to stick up proud a little bit. So for this, for this, I'm gonna run it from behind. So 
to, to drop the glove box, you have one, two, three screws right here. So again, going with the, the hand screwdriver. Again, these are Torx 20s. Most things on the test are a Torx 20. Okay, once you get it to this stage, if you can grab the front and just pop it and you'll feel it just pop just a hair on both sides, okay? Then what you wanna do is you've gotta wake up the car. So let me grab the key, wake up the car so I can drop the glove box. Oh, once you've got the key, just lean forward, drop the foot on the brake or open a door. Just open that back door for you. Okay. Once the screen pops on, obviously we all know how to open the glove box drops it down. Okay, now in the glove box back here, you've got this plastic trim here. So I tend to just grab one side of the trim, just pull it down and then you've got access through the back. Okay, so with this USB right here, untangle it from everything else. Send it backwards. You'll see a, a white solenoid here, just to the left of the white solenoid. If you send it a little further, you can just grab the cable itself instead of the, the actual plug. And then you have the cable inside the glove box. It's not gonna get trapped on anything or nothing. It's kind of nice. So once you do that, pop the dash back up again. You find one side always goes in easier than the other side. You drop this other side in. Do your three screws back up again. Okay, so once you've got those three put in, we can now flip the dash. So, let's drop the glove box back up. Flip the dash. Take this excessive piece here, send it down as if it's gonna, to where it's roughly gonna rest, which is gonna be down here somewhere, okay? You run this across the front edge of the dash, okay? Once it's lined up, roughly, you can just push it down. So all it's gonna take is just a push down. It's not gonna take you banging it or nothing like that. You just push it down. If you bang it, the clips could go through the cables that you've already put on the dash. So you just wanna squash it down. If it clicks, it clicks. If it doesn't, you've got something in the wrong position. I'm gonna go over the other side and just get that in position too. Okay, so now the dashboard's in. 
we're now going to get to the electrics which is down in that passenger okay so now we've got the dash in the cables in the position we need it over here i took it underneath this part here and then around the back now this cable because it's an amd car like i said earlier on we're only going to use this plug here so what i do is i get everything prepared and set up before i plug in so plug this into the box here i get the cable that we ran earlier on from the cigarette lighter here and this is going to go into the only plug that it will go into let me find it right here okay now before you plug into the amd plug or if you're going to if it's an intel car and you you're up underneath the dash before you do any of that turn the car off okay so to do that you go up here you hit the little car icon at the bottom corner it comes up with your display you go to safety and down here power off hit the power off it will ask you if you really want to turn it off yes i do turn it off give it a second or two and then all you need to do is take your take your uh, amd plug plug that thing in okay now I'm going to go back around the other side of the car, put my foot on the brake, start the car up, and we should have a working dash and everything should be fine. So here. So let's lift this thing up out of the way. And there you go. There's your display come up. It will say your mileage and your, your percentage of miles and all of that stuff. So now we're going to go put the center console back together. We're going to put the start off with the chrome trim ring. Uh, and if you remember, we got those two brass pieces that came off when we pulled it off. So again, get the trim tool that we provided you. You loop it behind the back and just pop it forward and they just pop out. So here's one. I got the other one on the other side. now to put this center trim piece back in line it up roughly and you'll see on the side of the car where the screw holes are where these are going to go through so don't go here or here try and get it in the middle part roughly where it should be and it just clicks down then back here you'll have these rubber pieces and i'm glad it fell out on me so these rubber pieces if they fall out they look like this they should look like this okay if it does if it looks like this chances are it's fallen out and it's gone down by the side of the seat so you need to pick it up and then you drop them back in they just slide in from the sides like this okay and then these chrome pieces they sort of loop over the sides like this then we put our seven screws back on each side we do them all by hand again The same on this other So once you've got your seven pieces back in, seven screws, take the two clips that came off on the previous piece, which have got to go back on this leather piece. Now, lift your leather piece up and take yourself out of the way. Okay. 
Okay. Now these two pieces that came off, one will go on here and the other one will go on the other side right here. Okay. And they should, they should look exactly the same as the other ones do. Once you get them back on, these two pieces, the, the two legs of it, if you just move them out of the way, the front, you want to line this chrome piece up with the inside of this, okay? Once you have it there, push the front in, and then the side legs just click straight back in like this all the way back. Okay, shut the armrest. Your center console is now back together. Now we've just got to deal with what we've got down here, tucking the cable and dropping the side trim piece back on. So to do this, first things first, pull the rubber trim back up again and drop this side trim piece back on. Okay, to drop the side trim piece back on, you've got two little legs at the back. They slot into the back carpet. So lift up the cable. then replace the rubber trim on the side. Once you've got this rubber trim back in, just so you don't forget, take the, the plastic clip that you took out at the top, drop that back in the hole. You might need to move this trim around a little bit to get it to go back in. Once you got it back in, just push the center pin back in and that's it. So now you're just left with the aftermarket harness. So now we, all we do with it is we just tuck it up out of the way, up behind the trim panel up here. And you can, you can, you can pull this, pull the, the side sill piece out a little bit again. Just drop it back here behind the trim panel and then just push this back into position. And that puts everything back behind the trim panel. Now you're just left with the, the cable that come from the center console. Again, tuck that stuff down behind the carpet down here and work your way all the way around, making sure that it doesn't come back out at the start where you started. So now what we got left, we got the end caps, this triangular piece and the, the, the rectangular piece. And then we've got the piece that goes in the center here. And we've also got the little pieces that go on the end here, like on the older Model 3 and Model Y. The, the, the new dash comes with that, that sort of fitment. So what I do is I will put on this piece first, if I remember right. It just clicks in like this. Then you've got the rectangular piece now i sometimes find it's easy just to pull the rubber away like that and just drop it in and then put the rubber back in afterwards each to their own now we'll put the the carpet triangle on now on the back of the triangle you've got all of these clips here so you just want to line them up i tend to start from this back corner here and get the first one clicked in. Once you get the first one, they all tend to follow suit. There you go. Drop the person's carpet back in that you've been kneeling on. And then we'll just drop this end on. Let me just go get it. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Put this end on you're always going to get it the wrong way around the first time but you line them up and then you just push and hear it click and you do the same thing on the other side okay, 
Now, this just proves you can put it on before you put the triangle piece on, if you want. And then you can put this triangle piece on afterwards. It doesn't really matter. And that's it. So you're going to need to change some settings on the display itself, depending on what time zone you're in and if you want it, uh, PSI or bar on your, your wheel pressures, Celsius or Fahrenheit, depending on which way you want to play it. So to, to get into that, you push and hold the left burn and you scroll up with the right burn and then you have this display that pops up in the center. And then you use your right button and you go up and down depending on where you want to be. And if you want it Fahrenheit instead of Celsius, you tap the left button and you, go, you keep on going up. So over here in America, we use PSI. So I'm going to change that to PSI two. And then uh, your time zone. So right now it's 3.09 here in America. So we're going to change this to 3.09. Think it's I think it's GMT minus seven. And then it will change. We also want it twelve hour, is my guess. And then you exit the menu. The time won't change until you exit the menu. Then it changes to PSI and we got it on the money, three oh nine.